um, hope you are all well and I hope you guys are well rested at home as today we will look at unit 7D, 7E and 7F for this morning lesson but we'll start off with 7D and I always ask the question um, what is the theme for 7D and the theme for today is technology as we will look at uh, the different components of technology for unit 7D, E and F but let's start off with our lesson and see why it is called technology so open your books to lesson 7D and then we can start the lesson alright so what's the title for this morning and we see that the title for the mo this morning is the Science Museum and that is located in London um, so we're gonna have a nice talk about the Science Museum now if you look at the title the Science Museum what's the first thing that comes to mind obviously it's a museum where you can find lots of scientific discoveries that has been kept that you can view and that you can look over so we can have a look at the Science Museum and that's the topic for this morning so we'll start off as I always ask you the question what do you guys see and the title is sleep over with dinosaurs so if we look at our first page and our first slide we see a dinosaur obviously this is not real because dinosaurs do not exist in this day and age however we can find out more about dinosaurs and the um, how they lived, about their habitat, what they used to eat and what they used to, to consume in those days. Um, some of the discoveries found uh, dinosaurs that still had food in their stomachs because they were frozen. So they could make out and say, okay, no, this dinosaur ate this or this dinosaur ate that. So if we look at the passage, our if we look at number one, it says, which of the following statements are true about the Science Museum in London? So what I'm going to do, and I am going to start off the lesson with the listening audio first, so that we all can have an idea and just read through it. You guys can pause the video and read through it, then we can all go through it together. All right, so what I'm going to do is, Audio. Sleepover with dinosaurs. If you want to learn about science in a fun way, then the Science Museum in South Kensington, London is just the place for you. During your visit, Make sure that you see an IMAX 3D film and go on a SimX ride. At IMAX, watch objects coming out of the massive screen which is taller than four double-decker buses. At the SimX, enjoy the magic of special effects. Experience the chill of feeling a dinosaur breathe down your neck or the thrill of flying into space. It's so real you'll swear you were there. Don't miss the launch pad. This is a 15-minute workshop where you can use multicolored light beams and movement to create musical sounds and songs. If you really want to live a unique experience, plan a science night with your friends. During your overnight stay, you will carry out different experiments, watch an IMAX film, and sleep over with dinosaurs and robots. Whatever you decide to do at the museum, you are sure to learn about science in an amusing and interesting way. The Science Museum is well worth a visit, and best of all, entrance is free. Charges apply for IMAX films, Simex, and some special exhibitions. All right, and that's our listening audio. So now that we have an idea and now that we have a clue of what's going on in our passage we can answer the questions um, that follows so if you look at question number one there's a screen taller than a four double-decker bus inside the museum so if we look at the 
passage, is that true or false? Well, I would say that is true. Okay, but we can check the answers later on as well. Number two, you can simulate a visit to the bottom of the sea. Now, is that true or false? I'll give you a chance to go over that. Number three, you can camp in the museum overnight. Seems like a th true thing to me. And number four, children don't pay to enter. So what I'm going to do is give you a chance before we check the answers. Seeing that it is quite exciting and that nowadays if we go to cinemas and visit um, our cinemas, you'll find that they have these special effects that we can uh, go to the museum and go to our theatres and watch movies in 3D effect as if you were there. So if we're going to check our answers, we see that number two is false, that you cannot simulate a visit to the bottom of the ocean. Um, however, you can camp in the museum overnight and children don't pay to enter. All right, so that is what we can conclude from our passage. And that concludes the first slide of our lesson for today. Right, if you go on to the next slide, right now check your answers and correct the false statements the only statement that is not true is number two as you can see you can simulate a dinosaur breathing down your neck flying into space and that has totally nothing to do with simulating a visit to the bottom of the sea so that answer is indeed false so if you guys had that true that answer is indeed false and it is not true. Quite an exciting experience that you can have um, with the dinosaur breathing down your neck. This is something that's rather interesting to see. Um, I know that you guys here in Vietnam have the experience where you can go to 3D theaters. Um, you guys are familiar with the virtual reality goggles where you can go into a virtual room and walk um, around the room and do some exciting stuff. I know because I've seen a theater like that in, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is Giga Mall, where you can see this right at the bottom of the playpen where there's a virtual reality um, eye set for you to look through and you can simulate the whole experience. All right. Remember that our theme for today is technology, so we look and we talk about technology in these aspects. Moving on to our next slide. All right, explain the words and phrases in bold in the text. Are there any words in the text which looks similar in your language? All right, you would know if there are any words or phrases that look similar in your language and teacher will not know because I'm an English speaking teacher and you guys know Vietnamese better than what I do. All right, learning to learn. Let's look at our first passage. True friends, look out for words that look or sound similar to words in your language. For example, true friends, they help you understand the context. What I usually tell my students is if you have an unfamiliar word, there's two things to do. First, translate it into your language to have an idea of what the word means. Okay, for example, massive. You translate it into your language to have an idea of what this word means. And then all that you do is you go to Google, you search the word, and you can hear how they pronounce the word. Now, this is very interesting and this is very helpful for those that do not know what certain types of words means because if you type dictionary, they can even sound out the word for you as well. So you will be able to know what this word means in your own language. But for our example and for our purposes, let's go through each and every word. Okay, first word we have is massive. I know you guys are familiar with massive because a synonym for massive means big. Just like the theaters that you have when you go to CGV, those massive screens, massive is another word for big. All right, magic, I don't think I need to explain the word magic. When something is magic, it's usually fairy tale or not real, but 
something that amuses someone all right chill experience the chill feeling of a dinosaur breathe we have two words chill feeling simply means that um, imagine you are in a cold room and the air is a little bit cold and you have this chill feeling now this chill feeling is similar but although not the same as that so what I'm going to give you an example of is imagine you are alone in a house and it feels as if someone is watching you so that feeling that you get that chill feeling that is the same feeling that they are talking about here all right next word breathe what it simply means is breathing breathe in breathe out so I do not need to explain that thrill and chill has the same meaning in context okay have the thrill of flying into space I don't think I need to explain to you guys what space means if you want to have an example just go out of the at Earth's atmosphere and you'll have an idea of what space means thrill is another interesting word I'll put it to you this way imagine you guys had to go on a plane ride and you dive out of a plane and you are about to take a parachute and you fly and you guys drop down now the feeling that you get the thrill that's the same feeling and that's the same word that they are talking about here all right next one it's so real you'll swear that you were there now the swear does not necessarily mean swear in a bad way all that it means is it's so real that you could say that you were actually there the experience is so real okay you can almost swear that you were there not in a bad context but in a very very good context let me just make that clear all right workshop this is a 15 minute workshop a workshop like the one that they are talking about is the similar as when you sit and when you take notes when someone talks and you have a discussion usually you have one person talk and there's a group of people that listen so there's one person gives um, gives you a workshop or gives you a lesson or gives you a tutor about something so that's what workshop means right multicolored light beams all that um, this means is if you guys ever went to a theater you'll notice that they have these stage lights um, on top of the theater so those are what they refer to as multicolored beams they have different colors um, that light up a stage I'm sure you guys are familiar with a theater not the same as your CGV where you sit and they show you a movie on a big screen uh, the beams that we are talking about here is where you are in a live theater and there's multicolored beams all right so beams all that this refers to is the lightning all right moving on to our next word unique experience another word for that is a special experience i don't think i need to explain overnight because it is quite familiar with you guys you will carry out different experiments um, I know that flower or wah, you like science, so I know that you will enjoy your science class where you experiment with different chemicals. So all that this means is you go from one simulation to the next simulation and then you can see um, and carry out different experiments. You get to experience it your, for your own self. All right, the science museum is well worth a visit. The word well worth means that it is um, an experience and it is worth visiting. Okay, you won't be disappointed at all. Entrance fee, I don't think I need to explain that. When you guys go to the cinema, obviously you need to pay a fee. So that is your entrance fee to enter and watch the theater right moving on to our next slide okay tell your partner three reasons why someone should visit the science museum um, since you guys do not have partners with you if you guys feel comfortable you can call someone on zoom or even on skype and you can go through the lesson with them and explain to them um, three reasons why 
someone should visit the museum based on the context and based on what you just read. So this is just a simple exercise for you to practice your English and sharpen your skills. But let's see why it's well worth the visit to learn about science in an amusing and interesting way. Okay, to see an IMAX movie and also to experience the launch pad, a 15 minute workshop using light and movement to create music. Now that is quite interesting because music, they do not play it through the normal medium that we know, like your speakers, but they create the music um, using lights and movement. All right, so now we can go on and look at our video. Sleepover with dinosaurs. Learn about science in a fun way. Visit the Science Museum in South Kensington, London. Make sure that you see an IMAX. All right, this is an IMAX theater. I just paused because I want to bring your attention to the fact is that when you are in the theater, they give you this virtual reality goggles where you look through the goggles and then you can experience the cinema as if you were in the movie yourself. 3D film and go on a Simex ride. All right, what that is called is an simulator. And all that that means is you sit in it and you have the experience and the thrill as if you were doing it outside in the air. So you'll notice that this is a rocket. So the experience that you have inside the rocket is the same experience that you will have as if you were flying the rocket outside. At the IMAX, watch objects coming out of the massive screen which is taller than four double-decker buses. At the Simex, enjoy the magic of special effects. Experience the chill of feeling a dinosaur breathe down your neck or the thrill of flying into space. It feels so real. Don't miss the launch pad. This is a 15-minute workshop where you can use multicolored light beams and movement to create musical sounds and songs. If you really want to live a unique experience, plan a science night with your friends. During your overnight stay, you will carry out different experiments, watch an IMAX film and sleep over with dinosaurs and robots. Whatever you decide to do at the museum, you are sure to learn about science in an amusing and interesting way. The Science Museum is well worth a visit. So, what are you waiting for? Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that and took notice of it. Um, what I just want to bring your attention to was you guys saw the light beams that they were talking about where they had the bubbles and the lights go through them. Now that's only one form of the light beam that I was talking about. This is another form of a light beam that you saw in the passage as well. Alright, going on to our questions. We have five questions at the museum. At the Science Museum in South Kensington, you can watch a SimX 3D film. Do you guys think that's true or false? Number two, the cinema screen is taller than a four double-decker buses. Do you guys think that's true or false? At the SimX, you can experience the thrill of using light beams to create songs. Number four, Launchpad is a workshop that lasts 15 minutes. And number five, during a science night, you can carry out experiments and watch a film. You guys can pause the video right here and answer and see if you paid attention. But for the rest of you, that is the answer. So we only have two false answers. And number one, at the Science Museum in South Kensington, you can watch a Simex 3D film that is false. And at the Simex, you can experience the thrill of using light beams to create songs. And that is false as well. All right, moving on to our next page. Let's look, have a look at some prepositions. You guys are familiar with prepositions. Those are your words such as in, over, above, under, on. 
and that's uh, just a few of the words that I'm mentioning so let's see what's the missing words the sign museum is mm, exhibition road and the answer is on all right it's on the road in South Kensington London okay the East Hall is filled steam engines the correct answer for that one is with okay the bookshop sells books related to popular science okay space contains rockets and exhibits which show us how we have benefit benefited and the correct preposition is from space exploration and flight has full-sized airplanes and helicopters and the correct preposition is on display all right these things you can see and it is on display all right moving on to our next slide for the writing part this is an interesting activity for you guys to do if you want to um, because obviously I cannot check it from this side write a short text about a science museum in your country now obviously not in pairs but you can do it individually where is it what can you see or do and present it to your class obviously you cannot present it to your class but what you can do is you can write it down and present it to a friend of yours all right let's move on to our workbook 7d all right guys looking at workbook 7d let me just put this here okay unit 7d if you open up your workbook I always encourage you guys to do this first and then you can check your answers later on I will however put the answers on for you so that you can see if you were on the right path so let's go through the workbook let's look at our vocabulary now we have couple of words sure effects screen thrill free experiments worth and overnight so here we see a boy standing next to a dinosaur and the topic for today is the science night extravaganza and an extravaganza is an elaborate and spectacular entertainment or production all right let's go through our first word don't miss the special one night event at the new science and technology museum you will stay the correct answer for number one is overnight at the museum there you will carry out different number two is experiments and watch 3d movies on our massive number three is screen our two feature mu movies are sure to thrill you with amazing special effects it's well worth a visit and sure to be an unforgettable experience best of all entrance is and the missing word is free so make sure you book your place in advance you guys can check your answers with what i've just said and then we can move on to number two all right fill in the blanks with the correct word we have five words filled related benefited display and learn and our topic is the airplane exhibition in west ham obviously this is in england so let's go through our passage the airplane exhibition in west ham is number one filled with things to see and do number two you will learn about how we have benefited number three from aeronautics and you will even be able to board some of the airplanes on display there is also a souvenir store near the exit of the exhibition where you can buy model airplanes and books related to aeronautics in general now the word aeronautics simply refers to anything that has to do with um, airplanes and all the nitty gritties that goes along with that as well okay moving on to our grammar 
we have must must not have to or don't have to what we need to do here is fill in the missing word with one of these words that's given already all right museum rules you number one must be quiet obviously you are in a museum and you cannot make a noise number two you must not touch any of the objects why not because it is fragile and it can break number three you don't have to pay an entrance fee because it's free all right number four you must have a parent with you very crucial for young learners to have parents because um, these artifacts are very fragile and you can easily break them all right number five you must not eat or drink in the museum obviously not number six you don't have to follow a guide you can visit the exhibition on your own so there's no need to have someone to show you around number seven you have to or you must book in advance if you are a group obviously these tours um, where these guides take people around um, does not happen automatically but you have to book in advance to reserve a space and the last one is you must not take pictures some of these paintings and these exhibitions that you see they are photosensitive and it can greatly destroy the pixels or it can destroy the works of art as well all right moving on to our next one number four choose the correct model verb we have can and might can you help me with my homework all right that's the first one a number two may or can't i have a word with you sir and that is may all right and then number three a it is difficult but in the end I might or I was able to and the correct answer is I was able to finish the training all right going on to the next one you see you thought that you couldn't is the correct answer do it and number four did you listen to the weather forecast and the answer yes and they said that it might rain and the correct answer is might and not couldn't number five can or might i borrow your car mom and the correct answer is can and then the answer for the question is sure the keys are in my bag all right i'll put the answers on the screen for you to double check your answers and then we can move on to the next listen all right this is the answers for unit 7d you guys can pause um, but that's all for me on 7d and i hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. okay goodbye